hey creatives thank you guys for joining me for this particular re-upload now this video was flagged as a copyrighted video because of the background music so i had to redo re-edit and re-upload because of the background music so yes if you're seeing this video for the first time you're in luck because you're about to get like a very very beginner explanation so please grab your pattern paper and let's start creating on my cutting table here, the pattern paper, the width I'll be working with is my round breast, my round bust, divided by 4, multiply that by 1.5. Now my round bust is 36, divided by 4 gives you 9. Multiply 9 by 1.5, you get 13.5 inches. So that is the width of my pattern. For the length, I got 9 inches. And how did I get this? On the screen, you can see the measurements I am taking right now. My tape is on the top of my bust and then to the under part of my bust and I got 9 inches. So these are the measurements I'll be working with, the width and the length. So please go ahead and take those measurements, mark that on your pattern and let's get into the next step, okay? So I'm just going to cut out the excess so we know what we're working with. And let's move into step 2. Step 2 is for us to create the armhole. So please go ahead and decide on the part you're going to be using. For me, this is the part I'll be using for my armhole. I'm just going to go ahead and place my tape on this part. I'll go down by 3 inches. So this is 3 inches down. And I'm also going to go in by 3 inches on this part. This is just for me to create the armhole for this crop top, okay? So please go ahead and create your armhole. I'm just going to use my curve ruler to connect these two points together to get a curve for my armhole. So this is going to be in bits and in steps so that everyone can create, the beginners, the intermediates, whosoever you are, you can be able to create this, okay? So now we have the armhole created. The next thing we're going to do is mark half an inch in from this part where you have the armhole point on the top part you mark half an inch in now what i'm doing right now is mark one inches because um if you have a bigger bust than my bust you can mark one inches but then if you have the same size of bust as me please go ahead and mark half an inch because that is what i'm using right now half an inch so i'm just going to indicate that this is what i'm using the half an inch i'll use a red marker to indicate this so this is the point i'm using the one inch is for the bigger boss people to know what to do, okay? Now from the center front, since we have the ammo created on this side, this part is the center front, I'm just going to go down by 4 inches. And then I'll go up from the base of my pattern, I'll go up by 3 inches. So what we just did, recap, I went up by 3 inches and I came down by 4 inches, okay? And now what I need to do is connect this base here to this point and then connect this point to the armhole here. So let's do that. I'm just going to go in with my dotted method. Like I'm just going to keep shading it till I get to the half an inch on the armhole. So you can use a curve ruler for this, you can use a straight ruler, you can just use whatever shape you want your crop top to look. Just go ahead and do that. But this is how my will be looking. You can see I just did a shade, shade, shade so I got to what I want. And I'm just going to connect these parts to the base here. And you can also follow this way. You can do a dotted method and once you're satisfied, you can just go ahead and connect. So I am satisfied. I'm just going to go ahead and connect. And this is what I'll be working with for the front part of my top, okay? So let's go ahead and cut out the excess that we're not using. Creating this pattern is like the most simplest thing for you to do as a beginner. So please let me know in the comment section if you found this very hard to do. But yeah, you shouldn't. This is very easy to make, okay? So I'm going to be marking one inch in from the center front and I'll cut that out because I need to create straps for this and I need the straps to drag the center front together and give it this nice look. So I'm going to be cutting out this one inch from this part so we can get that. Um, you will see what I'm talking about when we get to the part, okay? <laughs> so now let's create the back pattern for this top. So see what I have. I have the two fronts created.
for the back pattern i'm just gonna go ahead and place the front pattern on a pattern paper and the width of the pattern paper is the same as the width of the front and the length is going to be the same so what i'll do is place the front pattern like this on a pattern paper and i'm just gonna trace so please pin this down so it doesn't move while you're tracing okay Yeah, I'm just going to trace out the armhole. And then I'll mark the length. I'll indicate the length on the pattern. And this length is just going to go to this point. And I'm just going to take out the front pattern so I can create my back properly. So I'm just going to connect the length to this part. I'm just going to make a horizontal line to indicate that this is the length. And then I'll just shade the armhole well. And this is my back pattern, guys. Very simple, right? Like I said, this is a beginner's project. And this is the easiest project for you to carry out as a beginner. So please let me know in the comment section what you think, okay? So this is my back pattern and it is done. Let's go ahead and place this on the fabric and cut. Now the sewing process is going to be as easy as the pattern drafting. So let's just do this together. Now this is my fabric and I'm using crepe for this top. So yeah... For those of you that always ask crepe okay so what i'm doing is fold my fabric into two and i'm just going to place my front pattern and before i cut i'm just going to make sure i leave half an inch allowance around the whole pattern okay and to make sure that this does not move while i cut i'm just going to pin this round so go ahead and pin and then add your allowance so that's what i'm doing with my white chalk i'm adding the allowance on the fabric and i'm adding half an inch round so I'm taking my time to do this. You can see what I'm doing. I'm taking my time to shade my half an inch round. So please take your time. Don't rush it. If you're a beginner creating this, I don't see any need for you to rush this. So just follow the process. Follow the writing on the screen and just make sure you get it perfectly, okay? So once I have my half an inch round, I'm just going to go ahead and cut. And we have our front piece ready. So I did the same thing for the back. I placed it on a folded fabric and this is what I have. So what we'll do next is we are going to hem the top part of the back. We're going to be hemming this by half an inch, creating a channel for the elastic. I'm using the half inch elastic. So the channel I'm creating right now is a channel that is going to be able to occupy my half an inch elastic. Now for the front piece, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to create a channel for my elastic half inch channel. For my elastic and that is what we're going to do and i'll just join my front and my back together i'll sew this by half an inch i'll join the side by half an inch i'll join the side to by half an inch so once i was done joining and creating the channel this is what it looks like you can see what i'm talking about you can see that the channel has been created and it is half an inch wide and this is just going to be able to occupy my elastic so what i'll do now is go create another channel at the base and this is going to be half an inch wide also so i'm going to be creating both the front and the back piece together and that is the next step so make sure you create your down part just create a channel half an inch wide for the elastic you're using so it depends on the elastic you're using though make sure you create a channel that your elastic can pass through okay so this is the elastic i'll be using for this part and it's seven inches long and this part here is seven inches long and for the down part i used 18 inches long elastic so what I'll do now is pass my elastic through the channel I've created and this is how I always do it. I use my safety pin, I pin this, I pin my elastic with my safety pin and then I go ahead to pass this. So what I'm doing now is pass the base first. You know the base of the top is connected, the down and the front, they are all connected. So I'm just going to pass this from the front all through the back and to the other side of the front and then I'll pin so it does not move. So 
so after passing my elastic through all channels created this is what it looks like you can see that the top is coming together right yes so i'm just going to go ahead and secure this and um, while i'm doing this i'm just going to go ahead and also create my sleeve so let's go ahead and cut out the sleeves Now this is the fabric for my sleeves um, i have this folded into two and i'll be showing you guys the length now the length of my sleeve is 12.5 inches that is how long it is that's the length and the width i'll be working with how wide this um, fabric is is 14 inches so that is the width so what we're going to do is at this side we're just going to pick a side where we have the open edge we're just going to mark three inches down just as we did on the top we mark three inches down and three inches in so that's what i'm doing on the sleeve also i'm marking three inches down and three inches in and i'll connect with a curve like this and i'm just going to cut this out so what i'll do now is also create a channel for the elastic and like i said the elastic i'm working with for this top is half an inch wide so i'll be creating a channel that can take my elastic which is a channel that is half an inch wide so I'll just go ahead and hem the base by quarter an inch. So after hemming the base, this is what it looks like. And I'm hemmed the upper parts to create my elastic. So from the base of the sleeves, I'm just going to place my tape and mark two inches upwards. And um, this is because I want to sew an elastic on that part. So I'm just indicating two inches upwards from the base after I was done hemming okay so go ahead and hem first and then you do this part so what i'll do now is sew my elastic on this part to gather it together so i just want to have this a bit of flay at the base of the sleeve so that is what is this is what it looks like so that whole process this is the result now i've gone ahead to pass my elastic through the upper part where i created the channel and now i'm just going to go ahead and place the sleeve to the top and sew so this is the armhole of the sleeve and this is the armhole for the top. I'm just going to place them together and I'll go ahead and join this. So after joining, this is what it looks like. Yes, it is almost done. All you have to do now is create our straps for the center front. And I have gone ahead to create straps. Um, this is my straps. I have four here. And what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and fold my top in and then pin my strap to it before I go sew. So yes, that's what we're going to be doing. For those that don't know how to create your straps, just cut out a one inch wide fabric and then sew by half an inch. Use a safety pin to um, flip this to the right side and you have a strap ready very easy. Fold your one inch fabric into two, sew by half an inch, flip this to the right side with your safety pin and you have a strap ready. I'll place my strap and then fold this while sewing in my strap. So what I'm doing now is pinning this in place before I take it to my sewing machine to sew. So I'm just pinning this in place. I'll fold these parts also, I'll fold it in and then I'll place the strap. So because we have four straps we're going to be placing two on the side and two on the other side so it is equal okay i'll do this on the other side and this is what i have i'll just take this to the sewing machine and join so this is how you tie the front of the top you guys please let me know in the comment section if this was a very easy step for you to do this is a beginner friendly project for you to carry out so yes and let me know if the explanation was easier for you to follow Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching. Please let me know what you think. And let me know if you like tops like this so I can bring a lot of them to you, okay? Like I said, thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Uh, I'll be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye. <music>